Good morning. First job of the day, always a coffee. There's normally always some more shit up first. Sorry if there's any white noise coming from the diesel heater Ooh. in the background. Thank you. Cheers. So our plan for today is, one, film us dossing about a bit because we're having a weekend off. And secondly, hopefully we can give you some somewhat useful information about what it's really like living on a boat. Yeah, narrow boat. Narrow boat. On the canals and rivers of the United, I was gonna say United States of America. You've been in America too long, kid. And then, oh, maybe have a movie in night later. Mmm, that'd be nice. It'd be lovely. Got popcorn to pop. Corn to pop. Where's your breakfast? We haven't got any bread. First job of the day, real job of the day. We've got to fill the water tank, empty the toilet. We'll talk you through both. Oh. I'm not normally trusted to make the bed, but I found something that I can do well. <laughs> See this blanket? <laughs> this is thumper. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the fire on lit? Um, Probably. It's a bit cold up here. Yeah. Next job, fire. So you'll find most people on narrowboats have a log burner or stove. Is it a stove? I don't know. Log burner? Log burner. Log burner. Yeah, but when it burns coal as well, it's not just a log burner. Stove. Tomato, tomato. Stove. So far this winter, when did we buy? We bought a full bulk bag of logs. Bought a shed to store them in at my parents. We've just finished getting through that load. When did we buy it? A few but months bear ago. Bear in mind. We have, we've been away for a bit as well. Yeah. This is normally filthy, but Danny cleaned it yesterday. So just imagine ash everywhere would be real life. <laughs> By the end of today, it would be covered in ash anyway. People keep recommending the Swiss method. I think it's Swiss method, the upside down way. I always find myself resorting back to just normal paper underneath, a bit of kindling and a log on top. The majority of people use coal as well, so we've just never, never really bought, have we? No, we, we bought had, it once, didn't we? Someone gave me a bag. Oh. I didn't get on too well with it, I just found it nightmare to light. It doesn't smell as nice and it's not as pretty when you're sat here in front of vlogs. So, we sort of romanticise it a bit with a log <laughs> fire. The logs are never as pretty as you think as well. No, and they go quickly, <laughs> which is why most people use coal because it lasts longer. But we're rookies in this game, really, aren't we? Yeah. You, you can't. Make it work for us, though. Oh yeah, you just can't beat a wood fire, can you? Also, with coal, it's a lot easier to keep the fire going through the night. So we have tried sort of. What are they called? Night logs. Mm. They're like pre-formed that bark and stuff. They actually last quite well and you end up with some embers in the morning that you can light a fire easily because the flue's still hot. I feel like Danny's glamorizing this because she never sits on the sofa to read a book. I always sit in bed. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice though. One thing that needs to continuously check in is your water level. Now we're on a mooring at the minute, so it's not as much of a worry because we've got a water point just up on top of the pontoon. We probably have to fill our tank up every two days still, roughly, depending on how sort of 
often we're on the boat. We've got a 400 litre tank, which I would say is probably average. On wide beams and stuff, you tend to get a bit of a bigger tank up to like a thousand litres or something. Once you're cruising, it's a bit more of a worry because there's only certain taps along wherever you're going. So you sort of have to base your weekly plan on wherever there is a water hookup, water hookup, uh, water fill up. I feel like though, because we're in the morning, we're not as cautious with the water probably as we should be, <laughs> or as we would be when we're like constant cruising. Yeah. We are just, yeah, floating. So we're very fortunate of how much water we've got. Obviously we've got a bath. We probably wouldn't be using the bath as much if we were constantly cruising. And we've also got like big, what are they called? Like tank, like jug things. I don't think we've got any out of the back to show. No, I don't think we've got them, but I think they're 20 litres, so worst case, if you were in a mooring that you liked, we've obviously got a bike, you could go along the towpath and you could get water that way, um, yeah, rather than having to before. fill up the water. You are just more cautious, you live to your means, don't you? You forget how precious water is when you have it on tap in a home, but from being in a van and being on a boat, it is a precious resource. This is our little access hatch to see the water tank. And there, can you see it? We're down, almost empty. There, you can just see it moving there. Phillips just out on the bow. Windy today. Just in here. Our next job for this Saturday is emptying the toilet. Which... It's probably your turn. We're going to do it together. <laughs> so we have got a Simplu, which is a composting toilet. It separates number ones, number twos, um, because we found when we were in the van and we had one chemical cassette, toilet, yeah. um, it just filled up with number ones very quickly. So. We thought this would be easier. It is in that sense, I believe, but mm. it's not as glamorous as I thought it was going to be. Like the composting <laughs> life. There's some other ones you can get. There's one that I can't remember the name of, but it's like 800 pounds and I just can't. Higher than that. Is it? Nature's head, yeah, it's like 1100 quid. I just can't bring myself to spend that much on a toilet. In a house, is that's how much a whole bathroom would be. Maybe one day we will, um, but it's okay for now. You can also get, what's the ones here? Tanks in the boat. Oh, pump a, pump out ones. a pump out. So you can even, that was like a more traditional one for hire boats and stuff. You'd have a massive tank, which all everything goes into. And then once that's full, you'd have to go and find a particular place, pay like 15, 20 quid and they'll pump it out. It's quite or you a lot of money. To, it's quite a lot of money. And judging by quite a few people's comments on like Facebook, narrowboat Facebook groups, a lot of them are either out of service, full, it just seems like a massive hassle. And then the chances of finding another one of those within an hour or so's mm. cruise to go and empty it. And I don't know what you do in the meantime. It's hard, you know, it's hard enough if a water point isn't working, mm. but you can figure that out. But if your toilet is absolutely full and you don't have, you know, another cassette mm. or stuff. Some people that have cassettes, I've seen they have more than one cassette. So, you know, you can use that one. Yeah. Keep that stored until you find somewhere that you can empty it. Um, and with those, you can walk or cycle with it. Yeah. Have it in a wheelbarrow and you can go and find somewhere. But it, it, must take, it, it must take weeks to fill up one of those tanks. I would so have thought so, yeah. You could, I'm sure if you're used to having that, you could pre-plan it, couldn't you? An empty air, Even if you had to call the wherever, like the company that owned that um, pump out just to make sure that they're like empty or something. Yeah, I guess just so. Just a bit could, of pre-planning. Yeah. But yeah, that's the two main types. Most people we know have got cassettes um, or the composting toilets. I don't actually know anyone with a pump out. I guess like you said, sort of the older boats and stuff, mm. that's something this that they used would to have. have. One. This used to have one, but. If it already had the system and stuff and it was working, I mean, I don't see why you'd want to take it out, I guess. Um, but yeah, we are happy with it. It's just, it's not as glamorous as I thought. <laughs> Do you want to show I'll them? leave it there. Um, yeah. Give them a toilet tour. Toilet tour. We've got the Simplu. How much did we pay for it? They're about 400, are they? Do we pay that much? 300? They're about 400 Good. now. We paid like 350. Oh. Right. So this is our little setup. So this one is full. We need to empty that. We. Uh, with we. This is our ash. Can you hold the camera? I can't really. Welcome to our bathroom. As you can see, I painted a lot of the clouds. It's my favourite thing of this bathroom. 
Um, so yeah, this is our Simplu. We've never got this bit working really, which is... A filter to keep the smell out. Yeah, so you can imagine. Um, so we've got two. I don't think it come with two though, did it? Of these? Yeah. No, that's an extra £10. Okay, it's definitely worth having because then you can obviously rotate them, especially if you were constant cruising. Um, one lasts about a day. You could fill that up in a day. That's bad, isn't it? Um, so yeah, you've got your ones and you've got your twos. And to make that composty, we either use... Um, we mainly use ash now, to be honest, because it cleans it up from the bath. That's a bath. What am I on about? Cleans it up from the fire, um, which obviously masks the smell as well as sort of helping with the compost. You can also use sawdust, but you can use like coconut stuff, but we're obviously just trying to use what we've already got. We did use lots of sawdust when we were doing the boat or when we had it from other builds and stuff. So, but yeah, it's not bad. I just, I don't know what I was expecting to be honest. It's obviously not like a house toilet, is it? I love it when I get you to talk about the toilet because you never touch it. I do. I have emptied it several times. It's quite heavy as well. Like when you're holding two six of litres, these. Six litres, they are. Six litres, so about six kilos. It's heavy. Just over because they're plastic. Right then. Uh, by the way, these are our favourite tin fish. We brought these back when we were in Norway. If anyone's going to Lofoten Islands, please bring us some back because they're three pound online and I think they were less than a pound in Norway. Which was cheap. And they're really nice quality. Sometimes you get them and they've got like scales in a bit, but they're really good. This is the hole. <laughs> so glamorous. Boat life is really glamorous. You don't have to show this yeah, bit. Look at the colour of this. <laughs> no! It looks like Mexican Fanta. Joe! Come on. <laughs> no, this is too far. This is too far. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Joe, look how full Looks you've like done it! Side Joe, <laughs> it's too full, that's gonna go everywhere! <laughs> how often Danny does it? So this is our glamorous life. Can you imagine doing, having to do this when it's absolutely chummy <laughs> or icy? Now that most of today's chores are done, it's time to thank Ben Q for sponsoring this week's video. They've sent us one of their GS50 portable action-packed projectors, which you can take pretty much anywhere. This is exciting. <laughs> what an upgrade to boat life. So fortunately for us, walking hazards. <laughs> 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 the GS50 is drop proof up to 50 centimeters. I'm not going to test that now, but I'm sure in the very near future, either me or Danny will put it through his paces. We're going to set up a movie night inside tonight, but the GS50 has actually got an inbuilt battery, so you can use it outside for up to three hours on its own battery. It's also splash proof, which is perfect for British weather. As I always do, I'm going to read the instructions. Quick start guide, here we go. Batteries in the room. Is that the remote? Whoa, game changer. Back of the remote's connected to a tap. Why don't they all do that? Don't know if anyone can remember a little while ago when we, I think when we first designed in the living room, we said one day we're gonna get a projector and leave this wall blank so that we can sit on the sofa like my spud here. <laughs> projector up here or there onto that wall. I'm so excited. This has genuinely been something we've been wanting for a really long time. So really happy to be um, partnering up with them. Do not drop it, do not drop it, do not drop it. Can we watch something in a minute? It's so nice that it's like portable as well. Like I've never really, well, I've never seen a projector really. So I always thought that there would be one on the ceiling in here, but the fact that we can take that between here and the van oh, I do, and it? outside as well is just, we can have proper movie nights with everyone. We could do a little communal. When we're continuously cruising on the boat in July, August time, we could have friends round, so we could put it on the side of the boat and sit outside <laughs> when the weather allows. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh, you can use it as just a Bluetooth speaker as well. It's oh, got wow. a built-in sub. That's mental. What do you think about it? <laughs> it's so funny basically having a TV now. <laughs> That's so much better for my neck. Part of the reason we're having the weekend off is my neck's been killing between working on the van and sat up late nights editing the videos and stuff. I wear 
I haven't got a proper desk and haven't got a proper desk on the boat. So I meant to say, I haven't got a proper desk at my parents while I do a lot of editing. I haven't got one here. I'm just sort of in an awkward position all the time. So my neck's just been real like. Maybe you can edit on the big screen. We get to be really vain and watch ourselves on a big screen now. Oh, I'm not sure about that. There's nothing worse. <laughs> I don't want to do any more work. I just want to sit here now. But we can't, can we? No, we can. We have a video to make. Although, one of the tasks is washing. Welcome to Nap Men. We're Tip Men, and here's Tip Nap. What? Nap Men, Nap Men, Nap 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 Men. I'm just saying. In we, today's one program, of, yeah, we, I can't One of them is washing clothes, but our clothes drying is normally there, so that might have to wait till tomorrow now. We can wash clothes. Yeah, but where are we going to put it? I want to watch TV. So we just lost a couple hours. It's a dangerous game having a projector. <laughs> it is actually surprisingly still light outside. So we're going to go finish off our chores and one of them includes going to the shop. So we're going to go get some bits, some foodie bits that we need. Yep, yeah, then we're going to make a nice tea. Yep, yeah. what are we having? My favourite. And then I might do a bit of baking. Ooh. And then we can talk about some more figures on the boat. Yay, figures. Because we're trying to make a useful video here. The day off's quite nice. It's lovely. <laughs> that projector's so good. Look at all of our Tabascos. Joe put on our Instagram. Oh, I'm so wobbly. Oh, did anyone write back to that? Uh, no. Well, oh. yeah, but not... not Tabasco so... didn't. No, Tabasco didn't. Oh. Um, I think the only one we're missing it's here is... the original is... one. Oh, is it? The original and also the buffalo. But we have had the buffalo oh, and had the, the original buffalo. before. There was a couple... Oh, there might have been a couple of us when we went to the factory, but... How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different flavours. That that is essentially the original one, but it's a reserve. I think it's been aged longer, so it's better than the original. I really love this one, the raspberry and chipotle. Oh, it's not focusing. Yeah, hey. a bit close. Zoom in. Use the lens there we go. to zoom. Yeah, that's my fave. They've the all got their good. place, though. To be fair, yeah. I like the green one. This is new. I brought this back from New York. Scorpion. That's the hottest one. Seriously, extra hot. Great. Right, getting dressed then, kiddo? Yeah, I've got my pyjama flight trousers on. Hello everybody, from our little cave. Should we make it a bit more light in here? Oh, I'm a bit tired. Oh. Do you want coffee? Yeah, come on. Coffee for the lads. For the lads. Now, ideally we need to put a wash on, but I do want to watch a film. What are we going to do? We could. Put it there whilst we're not, and then put it in the bathroom. In the bathroom is quite good for drying with a diesel heater on. So we've got a tiny little um, washing machine. It's is it five kilograms? Three Seven. And a half kilos, about oh. half the size of a normal one. So it's really small, um, but it does fine for us. Just do them every so often, every couple of days, like with my work clothes and stuff. It's fine to dry at the moment. We've just been putting it in this space in front of the fire, but it does sort of eat into all of our living room space, but. It's okay, it's a compromise. And then I guess in the summer we can put it outside. We might have to do two washes. Oh no, that's the worst. One thing since living on the boat through winter, noticing that the solar panels are so much less effective, obviously when the sun's not out. So we've been hooked up, luckily because we're on a mooring, we've got electricity, but the cost difference is surprising. When we're in the marina before in devices, that was through summer and we weren't connected at all. Whereas here we obviously had to just to keep the batteries topped up and we had a bill for like 70 quid for a month. So that was a bit of a shock to us. That's probably quite cheap for some people that are living in a house. But for us, that was, I was surprised. That was, to be fair with, our neighbour using a bit as well. Yeah. Mm. So I picked up some coffee when we went to our food shop. Got home. I've treated myself because this is nearly six quid. I thought, oh, you know what? That'd be nice. Get some nice coffee. And I've picked up filter coffee rather than espresso, which makes me really sad. We didn't get a receipt earlier either, so hopefully I can go and swap it over. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. Are you going to go on your own? Um, normally, Danny does all stuff like this for <laughs> moral support. Joe's very much an introvert when it comes to stuff like this. Like if the waiter said his meal wrong, he'd just go along with it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> needed that. Right. Have I really got to go? I'll give you a, a tenner if you go. No. Please. I'm not doing <laughs> Anyone want to go and swap this over for me? <laughs> <laughs> Can you let you swap? Yeah, I just think the 
three different people. Did you? <laughs> so I went up to customer services, explained it. So yeah, they can do that if you just go up to up to a main till. Go to a main till, queue up, <laughs> go through, says it's fine. And then he thinks I'm with a lady behind me who put her stuff up because I didn't take up a little place marker. Oh, no. So then he's like, oh, that's fine. Then he starts scanning her stuff. He's like, oh, you're not together. And he's like, oh, you can pay mine if you want. <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, you'll have to go to the other. You know, it's like another customer service. I have to go there, he explained. Then he scanned it through and then thought I was, but I wanted the one that I brought back. So I was like, oh, no, I have way around, sorry. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> but to be fair, apart from I, the outcome was good, that couldn't have gone much worse. <laughs> for me. So normally we have it here, uh, right by the fire. It seems to be the best place to dry it other than eating up space. It's not too bad. We definitely left enough room for this. I'm sure there's other ways that people dry it. We haven't had any damp issues yet. Touch wood. Touch wood. Um, but we're going to put it in the bathroom because I don't want it to Projectors disturb. Projectors are a priority now. Yeah, I don't want it to disturb my movie. Um, I don't know what the proper way of doing that is. I always get stuck in it. Ah! Like that. <laughs> I don't know how this is fitting in the bathroom. It's quite a good example of lack of space in a boat. I don't really know. I was going to move the toilet. Move it where? I don't really know. This will be right here as long as you don't want to get through. Look at that up there. Diesel heater. Also tonight, so for tea tonight we're going to have lemon pasta. I think we've done that before on this channel, but one of our favourite dishes. Can't remember where we found it from. Um, Gennaro. Um, the Italian. The greedy uh, Italians. Yeah. Really, really nice. Really simple, but lovely. And we're also doing a live for our Patreons. We do one every other month. Um, just a little catch up if there's any questions um, they want to ask. And we answer about upcoming plans and stuff, which is nice. Oh, look, Birdie's ducks. Can you see them? Fanta. No, thank oh. you. Prosecco. Mm. Yeah, oh, <laughs> that, isn't, that, isn't, that isn't as bad as that time in the van. <laughs> yeah, that, was a, I, that popped my ears. It was such a confined space, it went off like that in the van. This is one of the best things we bought. We did a Prosecco tour a couple of years ago in the van. And it's a Prosecco stopper, but sometimes you forget how fizzy it is because we only opened that yesterday, day before. One of the best things we bought. This is down just to put our washing up on because we've already got some black marks on it. I need to re-coat this in oil actually. We might re-coat it but one of the first, <coughs> when we first had this done, or when we made it, we done a mass, actually that was Joe, done a massive scratch on here. Let me show you. This scratch here really upset me. I bought a crate of food back, uh, like vegetables and stuff, and then Joe put it on the bottom, uh, on the table sorry, and it had like a nail out of the bottom of it and just scratched it but my uncle Gary used to say he used to be really like anal about his wood and stuff and used to like hate it when there was any marks but they all tell a story like I'll always remember that feeling I was like oh like literally wanted to cry because it was brand new and it's the first one's always the worst so yeah and that. it's literally the biggest one but now I quite like them I don't think I'd want it's to sand it back do you no but we do need to re-oil it because that will that will stay black in it now. Oh, it goes black when it gets yeah, white. Yeah, maybe we will then. There's also a bit of black where we Wash put up. the washing up, so this is just a bit of a. Oh, hello, Swan. Oh. Can we put the sand camera strap on it. Safe. No, I'm right. No, 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 no. Drive. Oh. You can't get up there. <laughs> Drive, put the cam strap on. Wait. Now, mate. Drive, I'm bloody. Do, let me get. Drop out. Get. Drop <laughs> If you drop that, that is on you. That's like two grand. I'm not going to drop it. I might drop the light. Let me take the light up. Oh, little swannies. Hey, the food's on order. We're getting some more next week in Amazon. Bye. This is game changing, by the way. What, projector? Mm -hmm. That is too much for the fire on. <laughs> I put one on? Yeah, if you want. Yes, 
week we're going to show you the realities of living in a van in sub-zero temperatures. So this is the temperature in the morning for our American friends in Fahrenheit. So when we sleep we keep the heat on about 2 because the blankets are super warm. We are going to relocate to the bedroom because it is 30 something degrees in here and it's far too hot. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you want to get your hands on a GS50 projector, we'll put a code down below for 15% off and a link to take you to their website. Anything else? No, I'm going to go chill in the bath. Here, bedroom. That is so hot. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you to our patrons. Bye. Join us next week. We'll continue in the van build. <sighs> Do I look hot? Because I am hot. You look hot. <laughs>